What's up guys, it's Dr. Jim. I am your CBD expert, your natural health care expert, and your worldwide virtual health coach. And I want to welcome you tonight to the live. Uh, thanks for getting on. When you're getting on tonight, um, I, want you to, I want you to do a couple things. First of all, I want you to know what the topic is, man. This topic is exciting. There are a lot of people that really reach out to me about this topic specifically. And the, tonight's topic is CBD oil and autoimmune conditions. Really important. Thanks for getting on, guys. Please, when you're getting in, I want you to I want to know number one, where are you coming in from? Because we're getting people coming in from the UK, from Sweden, from the Netherlands, go Holland, and we're getting people from all the different states in the United States, all around the world, and I just love to know where you're coming in from. And also, if you wouldn't mind putting in whether you're watching this live, so I know if you're getting the full energy of Dr. Jim when I'm bringing it to you live. Or are you seeing it on the replay? But either way, it's going to be awesome because tonight's topic is CBD oil and autoimmune conditions. Now, the disclaimer right off the bat, number one is tonight, I am not your doctor, you are not my patient, okay? And nothing about tonight's video constitutes a doctor-patient relationship. This, is, this video is really for educational purposes, so I don't want you to make any changes to your health at all based on what you hear on this video. You need to consult with your doctor or do those kind of things, but I'm just, I'm giving you the education tonight. I'm gonna to bring real truth, real energy, and what's going on in the world so that you can really hear about how CBD oil, CBD oil can be a benefit. So tonight's topic, also, we do not claim to treat, diagnose, or cure any specific disease with CBD oil. Um, CBD oil is a nutritional supplement. It just has a lot of really awesome things that it does for your body. So I just wanna get those disclaimers out of the way before we start. Um, tonight's topic, very, very exciting, is CBD oil and autoimmune conditions. Well. The reason why so many people are asking me about autoimmune conditions, man, they are on the rise. Um, if you look at statistics and, and it shows chronic and autoimmune conditions, they are going up, they're going up, and they're going up, especially here in the United States. I don't know about around the world, but certainly in the United States. Um, it was um, in, 2000 F, in 2018, it was estimated that roughly 50 million Americans have been diagnosed with an autoimmune condition. So I think it's important that we first talk about what is an autoimmune condition. Well, an autoimmune condition is where your body's own immune system has started attacking your cells, okay? So literally your immune system, which is designed to, a, to attack foreign invaders, okay? Viruses, bacteria, toxins, things trying to get into your body from the outside, your immune system is designed to attack those. But in an autoimmune condition, auto meaning self, your immune system is actually attacking your own cells and tissues, okay? And in an autoimmune condition, what happens? So you have to understand the immune system. Now your immune system has two sides, okay? There's the, the Th1 side, which is the side that makes all the killer cells. These are the cells that go out and attack and kill things. And there's the Th2 side of the immune system. And this is the side that makes cells that go out and mark things to be attacked. And in a good, healthy immune system, what happens is those two parts of the immune system kind of work in balance. So let's say something's trying to get in your body, boom, those killer cells go out and they start attacking it. They start killing it. They start gobbling it up, getting rid of it. And then while that's happening, it signals back to the to the antibodies or to the Th2 side and they go and they start tagging these things so the killer cells know what to attack and the immune system knows what to attack later. And these two things work in concert and balance together. That's in a properly functioning nervous, I mean immune system. Now, this is what happens in an autoimmune problem is one of those sides gets really, really high. So you either have too many cells out there killing things or you have too many cells out there marking things to be killed, okay? And this is how you think about it. If there are too many cells out there marking things to be killed, they're not just gonna sit around. They're gonna find something to do. And what they do is they start attacking your own cells. So that is what an autoimmune condition is. You, you have this serious imbalance in the immune system and now your body thinks it's okay to attack itself. 
And when your body thinks it's okay to attack itself, you have lost what is called self-tolerance. Literally, your, your body can't, isn't recognizing the difference between a foreign invader and your own tissue. That sounds scary to me, right? That sounds awful. And it is awful. That's, you do not want that to be the case. You do not want your body to lose self-tolerance, okay? And it's because once your immune system thinks it's okay to attack any tissue in your body, ultimately every tissue in your body becomes fair game. And so what are some of the common autoimmune conditions that we all know about? Well, um, most of you have probably heard about things like MS, lupus. Um, I got to look down because there are literally over 100 diagnosed autoimmune conditions. So it's a lot. I, I don't know, even know all of them. But there's, you know, MS, lupus, there's rheumatoid arthritis, there's celiac disease, there's type 1 diabetes, there's grave disease, which causes hyperthyroidism, there's Hashimoto's, which causes low thyroid, there's ulcerative colitis, there's Crohn's, there's eczema, there's psoriasis, um, there's fibromyalgia, literally, and I mean, if, if you have or have been diagnosed with an autoimmune condition, and I didn't mention it. Go ahead and just put it down in the comments here so that everybody watching this video can just see the diversity and the sheer amount how autoimmune conditions are affecting people all around the country, okay? Because there is, there's so many of them and it's, and it's really awful. Thank you for putting those comments in. Now, the difference between every one of those autoimmune conditions, the real difference is where the immune system is attacking. That's how we name different autoimmune conditions, all right? So if your immune system is attacking your cartilage and is damaging the cartilage, we, we'll call that rheumatoid arthritis. But if your immune system is so out of balance that it's attacking things on your, you know, like your skin, that could be eczema or psoriasis. If it, there, hemolytic anemia, that's certainly one. So. If your immune system gets so out of balance that it starts to literally attack the myelin sheath of the brain and your spinal cord, we call that MS. If your immune system is starting to attack literally like the DNA strands in your cells, like that's what happens with lupus. Um, if it's literally attacking your gut lining, you could be celiac, okay? So Raynaud's is another one, absolutely. So these are all the different types of autoimmune conditions, but what, the only thing that really separates them is the tissues that they attack, okay? Because let's go back to what, it, what happens in an autoimmune condition. In an autoimmune condition, your immune system is out of balance. That's, that's it. Your immune system is out of balance and it is now free to attack your own cells. And it can attack one or the other. And this is what's really scary about autoimmune conditions is and they'll tell you, if you have an autoimmune condition, the likelihood that you'll develop a different autoimmune condition is extremely high. Now, why is that? Well, because your body has lost self-tolerance. Your body is attacking one type of cell. There is absolutely nothing to keep it really from attacking another one. So this is why autoimmune condition affects so many people. And if you have a whole lot of symptoms and nobody's been able to tell you what it's coming from, it is highly likely that it is autoimmune in nature, okay? It's really scary stuff. And here's the real problem about all of that. The medical treatment for autoimmune conditions, okay? You, you may have seen all the different medications that, that people are taking for eczema and celiac and ulcerative colitis and uh, rheumatoid arthritis and all of these medications that people take for autoimmune conditions are ultimately what we call immunosuppressants, okay? Because think about it this way. If your immune system is significantly out of balance like this, what would help out an autoimmune condition, right? Would be to bring it into balance. But see, there are no drugs, there are no medications that help bring this into balance. The only drugs or medications that are out there squelch or push down both sides of your immune system. So think about things like prednisone, Humira, like there's a whole bunch of them, and I'm not gonna name names, but all of these are, are technically immunosuppressant drugs. So if, if, if your immune system is designed to protect you from outside invaders and clear up things like cancer and different things like that, and 
And these drugs are simply designed to squash or, or push down. The way it brings balance to your immune system is it pushes down both sides of the immune system. Well, that suppresses all immune function. And if you're on that, what's the likelihood that you, like, I mean, it's the reason why when you take them, they, they want to make sure that you haven't been out of the country, that you haven't been near anybody or funguses or touched a door, doorknob or, or really anything because they're really, really concerned about the immunosuppressing effects of these medications and the negative impact that would have, all right? So that's the problem with the current treatment, okay? Now, um, how does CBD oil come into the rescue? How does it have an impact in autoimmune conditions? Well, in order to understand that, you have to understand that throughout your body, there are there um, are what are called cannabinoid receptors, okay, CB receptors throughout your whole body, and they are heavily concentrated in your immune system, okay, and. The, these receptors and the, and the endogenous substances that balance them in the body make up your endocannabinoid system. And your, endo, your ECS is ultimately designed to help create balance in your immune system. I mean, it incre creates balance in all of your systems, but as we're talking about the immune system here, it's designed to help create balance in the immune system, the way it normally functions, back and forth, balance and ease the way a properly functioning nervous system, I mean, immune, I keep saying that, immune system would work. And what happens is um, in an autoimmune condition, it's not balanced anymore. It's gotten significantly out of balance. So in this situation, we understand that the ECS is struggling. It is having a tremendous amount of difficulty about bringing balance to this system. So in that situation, you have what we call an endocannabinoid deficiency, all right? And an endocannabinoid deficiency it literally means you don't have enough endogenous, self-made, inside your body, enough cannabinoids that your body's making to help support this system to keep it into balance. So, what do you think we need? Ha! I know you know this. We need CBD oil. So when you bring CBD oil into the fray here, when you supplement with CBD, you are, you are adding cannabinoids from the outside because the internal ones currently are having a struggle. They cannot keep your immune system in balance. So when we add cannabinoids from the outside, okay, from CBD oil, cannabidiol, and it attaches to these receptors, the CB2 receptors in your immune system, it literally starts to help your immune system talk to itself. It helps the immune system start to regulate itself, helps to, to start bringing balance to itself, helps regulate the inflammatory response. It helps regulate the balance between pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory. And this is what keeps the immune system in balance. And that's what your body needs if you have an autoimmune condition. Wow. Who doesn't want balance in their immune system. I mean, I don't care. I don't I don't have an autoimmune condition as far as I know. But, you know what? I'm taking CBD oil because I certainly want balance to my immune system. It sounds pretty important. It sounds like something I would really want. And I guarantee you it's something you want too. If you have an autoimmune condition, you definitely want to help support the body in bringing balance to the immune system, all right? And that's what CBD oil does. It literally attaches to these um, cannabinoid receptors, these CB2 receptors at your immune system, and it helps bring balance. Literally helping bring the Th1 and the Th2 systems, help them talk to each other, help them communicate, and when they do, it helps bring it into balance. Really, really important, super important if you have an autoimmune condition, if you have tons of inflammation, this is something that you really, really want to get. I highly recommend it. Um, it's going to make a huge impact. Now, Am I naive enough to believe that if you only do CBD oil and you continue to do all of the things that may be aggravating your immune system, like you're eating a ton of sugar and gluten and a bunch of other stuff, am, am I telling you that just CBD oil is going to completely fix all of it? No. Okay? I'm not naive enough to say that. But what I will tell you is this. It is the very best place to start. Start doing that first. Before you, before you make any drastic changes anywhere else, start taking CBD oil and it's gonna help start bringing 
Inf um, bring your inflammation into balance, help balancing your immune system, very, very important. Now, we, so we know that autoimmune conditions, over 50 million Americans have it. There, there's a million different names, but what they are at their base is an imbalance in your immune system, where you have either too many killers or too many things marking cells to be killed, and this imbalance makes the body lose self tolerance so the body starts attacking it can start attacking its own healthy tissues and we name every different autoimmune condition based on sort of the where it attacks but they're all unified so very few people only have one autoimmune condition or they or they, they have more than one they may not know what the second and the third one is okay because once the body loses self tolerance it can move on and attack other places and we know that the current medical treatment is, isn't doing the job. And the reason is because the only way they can bring balance to the immune system is to suppress the immune system. I don't want to suppress the immune system. Now, I'm not telling you to stop taking those medications. Do not stop taking those medications um, just because you heard this cool information on this video. But I want you to know that long term, if, if you can bring more balance to your immune system and not make it angry, you may be able to, re you would, you know, you may be able to reduce or get off those working with your doctor. Okay, but and then so that's the problem. Now, Enrod CBD oil, and that is awesome. It is the very first step because it helps um, those CBD receptors help bring and connect and help the immune system talk to itself. And when it can talk to itself, it can bring balance. And when it brings balance, it helps the immune system, and that's going to make all the difference. All right. So I hope you got a lot of value out of tonight. Um, um, a couple things. Number one. I absolutely would love if you do not take CBD oil right now and you would like to like the CBD oil that I recommend, please message me, direct message me, and I will send you the link to order exactly what I recommend. I'll tell you how to take it and how much to take, and I will give you all that advice. Now, if somebody else shared this with you, then certainly there you get that information from them and get it from them but i want you to get cbd oil whether it be from me um please do that or whoever sent you this video second um i am looking for people to be on my team people that i can help so i'm looking for not a million people but one person a committed person in every state in the country and one person in every country in the world um because I want to help. We want to spread this across the country. I know this can help people. And I want you on my team to help me spread this word to everybody. All right? Now, um, a couple things. I, we have now had nearly, a, and I was just trying to count before this video. Please like it. Share it. Spread this information everywhere. Because what's going to happen is this video is going to go viral. It's going to go everywhere. Out of the videos that I have done now, we have nearly, I think now about 150,000 people have watched views on these videos. And it's because of awesome people like you, so I want you to share it and like it. And this is what I also want you to do, okay? I'm asking you to do this because this helps all of us. Um, if you would like to know when I'm going to go live or announcements, announcements like when this 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 program so for people with autoimmune conditions diabetes inflammation i'm literally i have a program that i i mean it's taking longer than i thought because my wife and i we are not tech geniuses and it, it's taken just a little bit longer but it should be ready in a week or so but this program is literally going to radically change your health in less than 60 days using cbd oil using specific eating styles specific supplements it is going to change your life it should be ready in a week so if you want to know about when i go live or announcements about things like the program and you have and you're not already getting messages from me i want you to go ahead and comment yes in the comments if you comment yes um you're going to get a message a, an instant message a, a messenger bot is going to send you a message from me and then when you get that message you just have to type yes Okay, and when you type yes, you you are now in the community, and you will get every every announcement that I make, every live, everything that we do. It's going to come right to you. Um, everything about you know when I'm going live, when we launch the program, anything that I can do for you. If you're not already, if you haven't already done that, put yes in the comments, and you and I will be forever connected. It'll be you, me, Dr. Jim. We're gonna, it's gonna be awesome. And so I just want everybody, 
everybody to remember, just like I tell my son every day before he goes to work, before he goes to work, before I go to work, before he goes to school, be your very best today, hashtag never quit, and if no one's ever told you this, I want you to know that I believe that God wants the very, very best for you, and the day you believe that, it's going to change your life forever. Be blessed.